Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we got a really exciting unboxing. It's the uh, Sonos Move speaker. This retails for $3.99 and I have a feeling it's worth it. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is that it has like a pull tab here. There already is like a perforation that will rip across. Make it really easy to open, which is um, something Sonos usually does. Uh, I have a couple um, Sonos Ones, uh, we have a Sonos soundbar, and this guy right here not only functions as a unit to the whole home system, but also as a Bluetooth speaker. So here it goes. First thing you see is a welcome starter pack. I think it just has instructions inside. Let's see before we open anything else. Yeah, just instructions telling us how to do everything. Ah, it has a charging base. It doesn't plug in, it has a charging base. Okay, and at the top we can see, um, it looks like the drawstring, I'm not really sure actually, but let's take off this cardboard and see, oh my goodness, check this out, the drawstring is actually a case, like a sleeve for the actual speaker itself. And then in here, separate cardboard box, we have the power supply. Wow, it's pretty heavy, it's quite hefty. It's not light like most Bluetooth speakers you're going to play with. This thing's a beast. This thing's a real true beast. It's a perfect size, I love the size. The weight is a good sign because that indicates that it's sturdy. It's not gonna wobble, it's not gonna tip over. Let's open the drawstring. Open up the drawstring, revealing the Sonos Move. Wow. I mean, this is elegant, just like most of their products. This thing is truly elegant. It's got like a handle on the back that, you know, allows me to hold it pretty easily. I'll just give you like a little tour. You got power buttons on the back, program features on the top, the microphone that you can turn off and on, and then a play, another two buttons. This is the sync for uh, syncing it up with the other speakers and the home system and the bridge. And then we got a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth button above that and power. I'm going to take the um, power and see what's going on with that. Put this beautiful guy off to the side. Super minimal boxing, which I appreciate. And then we open up and we see um, the charging port in all its glory. So we got like a ring, it looks like, that you know the Sonos Move will fit right inside. And the rest is just a uh, cable. I'm gonna unwrap everything. A little adhesive, pull tabs to help you get rid of everything. I mean, this is smooth. I've never seen a charger like this. All it has is these contact points. And the rest will just plug into the wall. Take these plastic strips off. And give this baby power. So on the charging unit itself, there are no power light indications. I'm assuming on the speaker something will light up when it knows it's plugged in. Okay, now I'm gonna refer to the instruction manual just to make sure I do everything right for the initial setup. All it's telling me to do is plug the charging base into a power outlet and put move on the base. Sounds easy enough. Place my base with the contact strips facing back, and there it goes. So this does give you a power indication light at the top. Doing all sorts of different motions, just flashing white at the current moment. So beautiful. And then I'm going to refer to the manual once again. Download the Sonos app, which I already have. It's going to ask me to add a speaker. Sounds pretty straightforward. Use Wi-Fi to set up Move, and for listening at home, switch to Bluetooth whenever Wi-Fi isn't available. I mean, they've made this quite easy. <laughs> Need help? Probably not. Let's go ahead and set it up, see how it sounds. I'm already in the Sonos app. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to System. And scroll down until it says Add Product. Connect your product to Power. Yes, continue. Searching for the product, this might take up to a minute. Looks like it's found what it's needed. It's just gonna complete that setup there and indicate that we found one product near you. It's the Sonos Move in Black and list my serial number. I'm gonna go set up this product. Press the button on your Sonos Move. Press or release the button as shown below and listen for the chime. So all I'm gonna do is press this button here. A beautiful chime plays. And on the phone it's gonna say, getting your product ready. Then it says to add a new product, you'll be guided through some steps to configure on your normal network. Please wait, this could take a minute. That's all it needs, it's unbelievable. I mean, this is not only an easy setup, but it's a quick setup too. I mean, I've honestly never really had an experience of connecting to anything as simple as Sonos allows me to connect to my new Move speaker. And that's frankly it, Wi-Fi setup complete, your product has been added and is ready to use. I mean, what else can I ask for? Listening on the go. Ah, it's gonna give me a brief breakdown of how to use this. Use Wi-Fi when listening at home. Switch to Bluetooth whenever Wi-Fi isn't available. When the status light on top is blue, Sonos moves in Bluetooth mode. That makes sense. Right now it's in white, indicating that it's involved in my home network. I'm gonna hit continue on the app, and all it's telling me is that the move has been added. So you might go through a little update feature now where it's actually gonna take the speaker itself and give it the latest firmware. And again, this is a 
very quick process. The speaker itself is flashing orange and white. The app is telling me that it's updating my product and now it's finishing up. That might be 25 seconds tops, all it took. And all you have to do here is be patient and not unplug anything. And there it goes, it's finishing my update. So Sonos has this proprietary true play speaker tuning program where you're actually gonna test the room for noise tones and the speaker's microphone is gonna pick that up and tune it accordingly. Auto True Play uses the microphone to tune for your surroundings. Sonos Move starts for tuning when you pick it up and continues to adapt to this environment as long as the microphone is on. That's unbelievable. What that means is that everywhere the Sonos exists, it's going to sound different. That's called Auto True Play, which I've actually never seen before. I'm assuming that's specific to the Move because this is the only speaker that you'd move. Your new Sonos product is now set up. Done. How exciting. How unbelievably exciting. And we can name it. You can EQ it, you can change with the true play, you can give it a volume limit, you can even turn off the status lights and the touch controls on top. Honestly, couldn't be happier. Uh, this thing bumps. I mean, what I love about Sonos mostly is their balance between their lows and highs and their mids. And this is just crisp. It's got enough low end, but the treble is perfectly crisp enough that the balance, the mix is just so satisfying. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing today. We had the Sonos move and I'd give this thing more than 10 stars if I could. Thanks for watching.